Hey guys, it's Megan and welcome to today's video. I have a Dollar Tree haul I wanted to share with you guys. I know you all love Dollar Tree hauls just like I love shopping at Dollar Tree. We all have that Dollar Tree love. So I want to share the recent things that I picked up. Not a ton of new stuff at my Dollar Trees, but got some things that were on my wish list. So make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you love Dollar Tree hauls and if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, I would love for you to subscribe. But now, let's hop into the haul. The first thing I picked up, I've seen them many times. I saw them right when they first got to Dollar Tree and didn't get them, don't know why. Then I saw so many people hauling them and I'm like, why didn't I get those? Couldn't get them when I was looking for them. And then finally, I stumbled across some more of these. I don't know if Dollar Tree is like replenishing um, these plates and getting more back in, but I have seen these at a couple of my Dollar Trees around here in Orlando. Um, so I went ahead and grabbed these because I knew I loved them from the get-go and I needed more plastic plates in my life because we have a pool and we like to sit outside now it's summer. We like to sit outside and have dinner out there some and just on the weekends when my daughter has friends over and they're eating and stuff, sometimes these are just better than a like paper plate. So I did pick up a, some of these plates, which they're just so cute. I mean, just so summery. I love them. I also picked up the rectangular one um, that is the same, you know, pattern as this. And it's like one that's a triangle kind of at the top and then squares off in the bottom. I picked up that as well, um, but I'm kind of playing with a outdoor tablescape right now and so I forgot that that is outside. That video though will be coming soon, so make sure to stay tuned for that. The next thing I picked up is this box. Isn't this so pretty? It was just like in their gift box section. They have a lot of really cute gift boxes right now and it does have this lid with the bow on it, but I'm gonna take this bow off and I'm going to use this as decor. I think I'm gonna put my essential oils in here. Um, in the essential oils that I use typically in my family living room area and store them in here. I thought that'd be a cute place to store them. But this is just such a cute little piece to use as decor or obviously you can use it as a gift box as it is intended to use. But I thought this was so cute. So if you need some little like boxes to hold things right now in your life, Check out the Dollar Tree's boxes. I have seen a lot of really cute ones recently. Next thing I picked up were these like geometric shaped little candle holders. It has a little, you know, spot at the top where you can put a tea light. I've actually seen these many times and didn't pick them up. I saw them in the other colors as well, but then I realized that I wanted them and so I was really glad that I found them again and I wanted them in the white so it worked out perfectly. I think I'm going to use these on our nightstands, um, my husband and my nightstand. So I really, I just love these. I think they look, some people I've seen, you know, do DIYs where you stack them and kind of make it even more than it is but I thought that this is just perfect for what I wanted on my nightstand so I'm so glad they ended up having this again when I realized that I wanted it. I always see so many things at Dollar Tree and I look at it and I like it but I'm like do I need it? What am I going to do with it? And then it comes to me later what I can do with it and usually by that point it's gone at Dollar Tree. But thankfully these were still around so I'm glad I found these. The next thing I got was this little cosmetic bag. Look how pretty the colors are in this. I just love this. I wasn't going to use it as a cosmetic bag. I was probably going to use this in my car to hold some things. By the way, I will have a car organization video super soon. I'm almost done like organizing it. I got a new car. I didn't really get a new car. I got a a long story but I have a different car now so I have been in the process of kind of like figuring out how this car is gonna work for me and organizing it the way that I want to organize so that video will be coming soon hopefully next week I will have it up for you guys but I thought that this would be really cute to keep in the car I just again I love the colors they had a couple other ones that were similar to this but just a little bit of a different design and pattern but I just I couldn't pass this one up I just love it so much I also grabbed some of this shoe shine kit, not to shine any shoes. I've seen a lot of people use this um, to do DIYs when they're wanting to stain 
um, some type of wood. So I was going to give it a try. Obviously, it's not like a ton of product in there. So if you have something big that you're trying to stain, it's not going to work. But if it's just something little, this will maybe work. I've seen other people use it. So I went ahead and grabbed it and I'm going to give it a try on some DIYs I have in my head. But for a buck, you might as well give it a shot and see if it'll work for you. Or in my case, I figured I might as well spend the buck, see if it'll work for me, and fingers crossed it will. Another thing that I found that I could not pass up, I don't have a place in my head for it, but it was so cute that I could not pass it up, and it is this sign that says, let's be mermaid. It's like a metally, it's heavier, um, I guess it would be a metal. It's so cute. The mermaid is glittery and it does have this little pink ribbon, which I think I'm going to change the ribbon out and, um, put something different there instead, or may, I don't know. I haven't completely decided if I'm going to keep the ribbon or not. But I'm going to utilize this in some way, probably something to do with my daughter. But I just loved it because, I mean, there's a lot of us that kind of wish we could be a mermaid. I mean, I wish I could transform into a mermaid and then be a human and be a mermaid. Similar to how Sophia does on Sophia the First. If you're a parent with a little girl, you know what I'm talking about. Another thing that I picked up was just this plain white candle. This isn't one of the, um, you know... LED, what is it called? LED candles or the ones that you can turn on and off. This is just a straight up regular candle. On Pinterest, I've seen this DIY with a candle from Dollar Tree that I've been wanting to do because I think it would look so cute in my house. And so I finally just bit the bullet, grabbed one of these. So I will be doing that. It's like a really simple DIY, but it's super cute. So I will definitely share that when it gets done. Some of you may already have in your head and know what like I'm talking about, but if not, it'll be a surprise, so stay tuned for that as well. I wanted to find a citronella candle to put in my bathroom because we have a door that opens up to the side of our house, and ever since we've gotten our new dog, Alan Bear, um, he has to go out a lot because he's a puppy, and so we have multiple d doors that lead to uh, you know our yard and we have the side yard and we have the back doors and stuff but he likes to go out of the door that is connected to our bathroom a lot and I'll leave the door cracked and there's no screen or anything so sometimes bugs will come in I mean I won't leave it cracked for that long but I figured if I could find a cheap citronella candle I could put it in my bathroom because I also love the smell of citronella I know some people are like oh that's disgusting I don't know what it is but I really like that smell. So I found this citronella candle. It says made with real citronella oil at Dollar Tree. And um, I have to give it a shot. This one is the blue one. They had a yellow one and it was a, maybe a pinky red one or something, but those smelled a little different. This one smells mostly like citronella to me. So I went ahead and got this and it's in like a cute little mason jar. So you can obviously use the jar after um, if you know you want to use it for something else. But I'm going to give this a shot. Mm, I just love that smell for some reason. So hopefully this will work with the, you know, the bugs. And there was a big citronella candle at Target the other day. If you saw my Target shop with me that I posted a couple days ago, you will have seen it. It was, I think it was from the Hearth and Hand um, collection, but it was so big and it smelled so good, but it was way more expensive than a dollar. So I figure go with the Dollar Tree one for now and let's see how this one works out. I also picked up this bin basket. No, it's a bin. And I'm going to spray paint this bad boy because I'm not a big fan of this color, but this will be going in my car. So again, stay tuned for the car organization video, but this is perfect size for what I needed for my car. I'm not sure what color I'm going to spray paint it yet, but probably like a white or a gold or something like that, but definitely like the size of it. Dollar Tree doesn't have a ton of new bins and baskets and stuff in, but I've gone to a few different Dollar Trees and I've seen like different styles and different, you know, shapes and colors and stuff. So always be on the lookout for new baskets and bins if you're looking for organization, which I am organizing many things this summer. My daughter's not going to be in a camp this summer, so she's going to be around a lot. Boy. Oh, boy. That's a boy. That's a boy. 
Can you hear my daughter? She is telling Alan Bear, that's a good boy. He must be going potty outside right now. So don't mind that. Oh no, and Alan Bear? Yeah, he came in. Oh, I know where he works. Alan Bear, mommy's right here. That's what I was trying to tell you. I'm almost done with the video. I was trying Alan to tell Bear. you that um, he well, wanted to come in. He wanted to come in. Yeah, he wanted to, but he just went pee. He just went pee pee. I heard you saying, "That's a good boy. That's a good boy." Well, I already saying that. Uh, in the, I heard you saying it. You heard me saying it. I was copying. Alan, Alan Bear, what are you doing? He has my bra in his mouth. Give me my bra, boy. Give me my bra. Are you still recording? I am still recording. Hi guys. That's Lennon, my daughter. If you didn't know, I know a lot. Of <laughs> you got your bathing suit on? Are you about to go swimming? Yeah. Is Alan Bear going to go swimming with you? Yeah. I bet he is. All right. Lenny, you want to see the last thing that I picked up at Dollar Tree? Yeah. So the last things I picked up at Dollar Tree are these wall hooks. I know a lot of people have been hauling these. Look how cute this is, <laughs> Lennon. Alan Bear, you're crazy. You're crazy. Don't knock over the camera, Alan Bear. Look how cute this is, right? Do you know what I'm going to do with this? Make it a... No, I'm not gonna make it into into anything. I'm gonna use this. What? What? <laughs> no, no, no. It's a paper towel. Stop. <laughs> puppy is. You forget. Eight years without a puppy. You forget what a puppy entails. And that's lots of mischief, huh? That's lots of mischief. He's getting bigger by the day. If you haven't seen my Instagram, you haven't seen that he's gotten a haircut, so you can see his eyes. Oh my goodness. Uh, Mr. Allenbear's haircut. Mr. Allenbear. We told you you'll see him in a lot of videos. Yes. We told you, and that was true. <laughs> He's our sweet boy. So I got these to go in my closet to hang necklaces from. So I got two of these and then I got two of this pink one as well. So I thought I would do like one and one and then one mixture? and one because I have shelves. Yeah, like do a little mixture. They also had a couple other ones, but these were my two favorites. So um, I wanted to kind of stick with the same size and shape of it. And but I, what? And my mom loves the color pink, and I think she likes that color blue. Yeah, those are my... And will we be able to use one for my backpack next year in second grade? I don't think that will be strong enough to hold your backpack, but we'll... What we'll will be... you be using it for? Uh, to hang necklaces on. Wouldn't that be so, so cute? Pretty. You have some... I have, um, um, what's it called? A pink one in my room, a pink flower, oh, but, yeah. um... It doesn't, it doesn't really match my room because we're going to be taking away a little bit of pink and adding purple. That's true. Not right now. Not though. right now. Shame. But during, like, second grade, probably. During second grade, yeah. Her her bedroom is mostly pink, pink gray, gold, gold. Gold and white. And white and some blacks. And I black in my room. Uh-huh. And your comforter, the black hearts. Oh, but yeah. that's a little bit. Well, but whatever. But my daughter's favorite color is purple. So I told her... Purple, white, and gold. Yeah, so <laughs> we're going to change out some of the pinks that we've had in there since she was little and the pink, refresh pink, it. And there's do. pink curtains in there that had for six years. Yeah, the, she has the same pink curtains in her room since she was a baby. So anyways, that's beside the point. We will do a refresh. We'll share that with you guys if maybe, you are interested in maybe seeing we'll that. Maybe we'll do, um, Helen, stop eating this stuff. Maybe we will do um, a house tour. Uh, a video? Of yeah, it. when we when we go around the house, show all the rooms. Or we'll, we'll at least show your room, show an update of your room when yeah. we do it. But that. Again, that's going to be wild. I told her maybe for her birthday, which is in January. But you know how kids 19. are. They're like... And Alan Bear's birthday is close to my birthday. This is January 30th. Yes. Totally random end of this video, but I hope you guys enjoyed this Dollar Tree haul. I know it wasn't a huge Dollar Tree haul. Stay tuned, though, because you know I always go to Dollar Tree and we'll have lots more hauls to share with you guys. Thank you guys again so much for watching. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. <laughs> and <laughs> this dog, this dog, he's too much. He's too much. Do my 
my fingers taste good. You're, gr oh. You're crazy. You're crazy, Alan Bear. But I love you. I love you. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you have an amazing rest of your day. And I will see you in my next video. And Alan Bear, bye! Bye! Didn't even finish filming the video um, 30 seconds ago. And he's already in the pool <laughs> with Lennon. You can't keep this dog out of the pool. And he loves to chase Lennon. Are you going to? <laughs> good boy. That's a good boy. Alan Bear. Oh my God. Get your toy. I'll grab my toy. <laughs> good, boy. good boy. That's a good boy. That's a good boy.